For today's episode, I'm going to be installing the UV LED strips into my footwell underneath on both sides. So let's get started. First step is obviously to determine how much LED strip we need, our width of the footwell. I'm going to make sure where I'm going to actually be mounting this. Looks like I should be able to mount it to the back of this strip here. So I'm going to pull off a little bit, actually fit it up there. All right and then go to the closest cut point. So we'll just go there. Now we'll do the same thing on the driver's side. We want to determine where we can actually mount these. Looks like it's gonna be just right there. So about the same length, should work. Now I'll head back inside. I'll solder some wires onto the ends of these and then we'll get to the part where I disconnect the interior light switch and wire these into it so that when the doors open, they come on. Or if I turn the interior light switch on, they'll come on. All right, now that I've got everything soldered and the wires are shrink wrapped, now I need to verify how the actual switch works so that I can wire them into that. Here's the actual switch location. I believe it should just be a flathead to get it out, which I don't have on me. So, yep, there we go. Just pop off the cover and then, awesome. So it just pops right out. It looks like we have wires coming from multiple locations. So I'm gonna get the tester out of the trunk and verify what we have going on here. I removed the two Phillips head screws that hold the glove box hinges in, which allows the entire glove box to just fall out of the way. And now I can access the actual light switch connector to remove it so that I can solder on the wires, maybe. All right, now that that's disconnected, Looks like the red wire is a constant and then the white wire is the signal wire coming from the door, which is also a constant. And then the black is the ground. So now I have an LED wired into this instead of the regular light bulb. So it comes on and off with the door open and close. And then there's the constant on as well. So even if the doors are closed, you can have a map light nice and bright. But then there's three wires, a red wire, a black wire, and a white wire. The red goes to the switch, the black becomes ground when it's all the way across, the white becomes ground when it's in the middle and when one of the door switches are out. So if a door is open, then the white becomes ground. So I've left this to where this controls this only and I've tied off of these so that now what I have is a red wire going constant to the LED strips. And then I've got a switch that I'm gonna run through the ground so I can turn the constant ground on and off so this will actually turn the lights on all the time if this is off and the doors open then those will come on as well whether this switch is in the on or off or not doesn't matter there's a way to do it with resistors I really don't feel like bothering with it so that this controls those as well and vice versa but for now it's just this switch will turn them on and off constant otherwise the door switch will turn them on and off as well okay so hopefully all that made sense wiring tends to get a bit tricky but now what I have to do is wire in the actual toggle switch so that the wires all run to the same spot and that they work properly so for now what I need to do is get these guys all wired in to where they're supposed to be So we have the switch in the off position. Everything's wired together. The switch is actually disabling the ground of the constant. So what will happen is if the door opens, the lights come on, door closes, lights are off. And then even if the doors closed or off, we can turn the switch on and then we have constant on. Even if the doors open and close, it doesn't matter. Switch off, 
Doors open, doors closed. Now we put everything back together. All right, so now what I have is a couple of switches here. Again, this switch is switching from breathe mode on the underglow LEDs to constant on. This is the LED underglow on switch. And then we have the footwell glow switch, which will, even if off, will come on when the door opens and back off when the door closes. On, off, on, off. Breathe, constant. So now I just gotta put everything back together. Next video will be the push to start. All right, I hope you liked the install. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Sorry if the wiring configuration is a little confusing. Honestly, it was very confusing to me. It took me about three or four tries before I figured out which way I needed to wire it up to get it to do what I wanted it to do. I actually popped a couple of interior light fuses just trying different things. And that's honestly how you're gonna learn. And that's the good part about using a fused wire terminal as is because then if you do make a mistake or you catch a wire on something or you touch a wire to the wrong thing it'll just pop the fuse instead of burning your car to the ground so learn from your mistakes uh, I don't know what else to say you know what I mean just you're not gonna learn anything by just reading a book and sitting on your ass you have to actually get in here and start pulling wires and trying different stuff as long as you're not messing with anything integral you shouldn't do any major damage so hopefully you liked the video if you did click the like button if you want to subscribe hit the subscribe button and as always keep modding